This week. Okay. Let's kick it off. Yarn. Yeah. We got some yarn. Uh, we actually had this for um, some of our crafting and robotics projects. Okay, it's yarn. It's made of cotton, but it's actually like really nice and strong. It's great for projects where you want like some string, and it's a like, colorful and it's fun. And we use it in some of our robotics projects. So yeah, I'm giving a shout out to yarn. You can knit with it, but I also think you can craft with it. Um, we have these super fine lanyards. Uh, these lanyards featured in Ada Box Nine. We only put the best in every Ada Box. And uh, now we're going to stock these in the store so you can see modeling, uh, you know, the Hackaday badge logo and uh, this cute uh, pushing cat. Um, these are really nice lanyards and they have double hooks. Um, I like the double hook style because I feel like it makes the badge sit more securely on the body. I feel like if it's a one hook, it kind of like swings back and forth a little bit too much. Um, but this is nice. Look at, how, look at how elegant that looks. So pick up one of these lovely lanyards. Okay, um, this is actually a customer request. They said, hey, you know, I build boards based on Adafruit schematics and PCB files. And, um, you know, where do you get that micro USB connector you have? And the answer is uh, actually, like, we, you know, we buy them in reels of like 5,000. So we decided, okay, let's put like a five pack in the store. Um, you can't get this exact pin set up that I really like. Um, these pins are nice and wide and they're through hole. But uh, the connection pins are surface mount. So you can use these in a surface mount process with pick in place and you just put like paste into the through hole pads and it makes it super secure. And Phil, I, I give you the boards after we make them with these micro USB yeah. jacks. And I say, hey, can you try like prying this off? And what do you do? I try. And it's hard. I usually like destroy the board before the con con before the uh, connector comes off, the yeah. PCB delaminates. So these are like, believe me, these are Lady Ada approved micro usb connectors yep. and it's the little things that count you know like this having a good uh through hole smt micro usb connector makes your project work out real well all right finally a product for me this detects lies <laughs> it's a lidar oh sorry oh. not a truth dar no so this is a lidar and this is also a customer request and i gotta admit these are a pre these are pretty sweet uh lidars this is the rp lidar from robo peak um, and usually, you know, LiDARs are very expensive. These are, you know, you use them in, um, you hear about them in self-driving cars. They have a laser that shoots out and I can, I'll show it on the overhead, although I'm, I'm not going to do, you know, you can't show like the data coming out, but you see that like line, it shoots a laser out and it rotates so it can create a 3D map of um, what's going on around it. Like it's actually, sorry, it's, it's a 2D flat map, but um, spinning around in 360 degree space. And then of course you can raise it and lower it with a servo or, or um, a stepper or whatever. And if you wanna have a 3D mapping. Um, so what's nice about LiDARs is they're extremely precise. You're gonna get like, a, you know, I think 0.2 centimeters of um, uh, accuracy or precision with these. And another thing is um, some LiDARs um, don't rotate. They're just like the sensing element. With this, you actually get both the sensing element, which you can see here, there's a little laser, and then the detector that detects the bounce off. And it spins. Um, it's, you know, it's, not, it's kind of an open thing, so it's maybe not good for like just plopping on top of a car. You'll want to protect it. But for indoor robots, um, this is great. So it's got um, this uh, motor and it's got, I guess, like a Hall effect sensor, so it knows where it is. And then it has like one degree accuracy as it spins around and it sends the data out um, over this port. And this port gives you ground, RX, and TX, so it's UART data. It's detail, I think, three volt level data. Um, uh, VS0, which is, uh, sorry, V5, so it's a five volt logic, um, and that's for powering the logic of the laser and the LiDAR. Ground for ground. Um, control motor pin, which you can pulse high and low to turn the motor on or off, and that's connected uh, to the DTR pin on this adapter. And V-Moto, which is also five volts. So you can power this whole thing off of five volts, which is another nice thing. You don't need 12 volts for this. Um, so you can use it with single board computers or even microcontrollers. And it comes with this handy adapter. So your adapter takes the TTL serial, the five volts from the USB, uh, ground and um, DTR, and you can then connect it over USB to your uh, computer, whether it be a desktop computer like Windows or Mac or Linux, or like I said, a single board computer like a Raspberry Pi or a BeagleBone or whatever other single board Linux computer. And you can read the data over USB 
And it's just like RxTX data, this is UART data, so it's quite simple. I even looked at it and it looks just like, you just get the point data coming out. And then you can use um, ROS, the robot operating system, or other SLAM uh, generating or management software to take that data and make a map for you. Um, so I'll just plug this in real fast just to show you kind of what it looks like when it's on. So this lights up and then this spins. And it can do, I think, uh, 8,000 samples per second, and it can rotate at 2 to 10 hertz. So I think you get different you know, precision accuracy depending on how fast you want to spin it. And then this is the kind of data you get out. So I like this. It's a, it's a really good deal. It's about 100 bucks, And um, you get the data out. It's super easy to use. So I'm really glad we finally have a LiDAR, and I think this is like kind of the best LiDAR that you can get for uh, you know, budget electronics. Um, you know, if you want to spend 500 bucks, you can totally get a really, really nice LiDAR. But for the price... It's always easy to spend $500, but if you want to, like, be smart about your spend... Yeah, and this, this works great. I mean, I plugged it in, I ran some Windows software, and it just, like, worked, um, which is yeah. amazing. So, check okay. it out. All right, next up. This is the automation bit from Pimeroni. They're also from Sheffield, um, like Doctor Who. And maybe there's some connection there. Um, this is a bit that um, you plug your micro bit into and it gives you um, a bunch of like high voltage electronics that you can use. And I'll show this off because it's, I want to make it super clear what you're getting um, because I think some people may be confused. Um, so you plug your micro bit in, you can program your micro bit with MicroPython or with MakeCode. They provide a MakeCode package. In MicroPython, like you don't get like a library because honestly, um, there's no chips on here. This is kind of all like analog or uh, like level shifting type stuff that lets you control high voltage stuff. So even though this can control uh, 24 volt max electronics, there's no 24 volt power supply on here. Um, you would provide that through the pin. So for example, the output here, um, one and two, um, this is for driving like a solenoid, but you provide the 12 volts or 12, 24 volts on the other side of the solenoid, and then this just goes to ground. You get uh, two inputs and they're buffered, so they're safe. You can have up to 24 volt input. And the analog pins also have um, dividers. You can see these six resistors, they're analog dividers. So you can have a high voltage reading and it will divide it down to three volts. And then over here is a little Relay, you get um, uh, the common, normally open and normally closed. So you can use this to switch on and off, uh, again, up to 24 volts DC of stuff. So like small lamps or maybe 12 volt electronics, like small motors um, will absolutely work with this as well. So these are some good options for you. And I think the, um, the um, ULN2803 also drives um, the uh, relay as well. So this is good. You know, you're getting, you have to provide the higher voltage, but then you can use this for high voltage interfacing. And the start of the show tonight, besides our community and you, Lady Ada, is this, this is going to be in the store super soon. This super is why, soon. This is why we're putting in tonight. It's coming soon. They're built. I'm just waiting for uh, a little bit of hardware, but I thought I'd let people sign up. Um, so this is the Cricut hat, and we'll go into this in more detail when it's like super live in the store. Basically, we've taken the Cricut that everyone knows and loves. We have the Cricut for Circuit Playground Express, um, Cricut for Microbit, um, Cricut for Feather, and we made a Cricut hat. So this lets you do all sorts of advanced robotics and like interactive art with a Raspberry Pi. And it does all the things that Raspberry Pi doesn't. It gives you eight analog inputs. It has PWM outputs. It does uh, stepper motor control. It does two DC motor control. It does NeoPixels. And it does the NeoPixel timing for you so you're not using the Raspberry Pi pin 18. It has a USB to serial converter. Um, it has four servo drivers. It has capacitive touch input. It even has an I2S audio amplifier. So it's kind of like an all-in-one everything hat. Um, I'm super excited about it. We're going to do some cool projects with it coming soon. We have this Neo Trellis out, and now this Cricut hat is dropping. So this is kind of the fourth Cricut. I'm going to break it down. Let we'll me tell break you. it down, break it down. If you have a Raspberry Pi and you ever want to do any physical computing stuff, you need this because it's really hard to do. Otherwise, you're, like, gluing together 18 yeah, things. Yeah, and you can use Circuit Python, Python on a Raspberry Pi now. On a Raspberry Pi now, and it just works with all the rest of the stuff we have. So you can make an advanced robot and not spend a ton of money just with the Raspberry Pi and with Cricut and stuff you probably already have. Okay, well with that lady, that's your products. So sign up for that. New, 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 new.